Yeah, had a couple run-ins with the law, but I'm okay now. <laughs> All right, Tony DeBone, let's hear about your Mazda RX-7, 93. 93 RX-7. I had a 300ZX automatic, a Nissan. It was a dog, it could only hit about 120. Anyway, I took this for a ride and I'm going about 120 in third gear. I said, boy, I gotta get this one. Sure enough, I was driving a black one, but I said, I gotta get red. I call it ticket red. <laughs> But anyway, it's a fun car. It's light. It's only 255 horsepower, but weighs about 2,800 pounds. What's that snake you got in the back of it? What, what, what do you call all them snake tubes you got back there? Oh, <laughs> it has the voice sound system in it. It's got the wave. <laughs> and it's unique. It, it, it's pretty unique. It, cars have flaws back then. It's first year for the Mazda RX-7 that year, a couple yeah. little things. And what did you listen to on that jukebox? ACDC, <laughs> <laughs> Back in Black, oh, Little Metallica, the Black oh, Album. Boy. That was a chick magnet. I had to talk him into getting the wheels. The car didn't look right with those little bitty wheels on there. Yeah, so. Move you up to the next level. I'm moving up now, look at this. Look at us now, <laughs> all these beautiful cars. Oh yeah, the first year I took a, a layoff from work and in the first three months, I put on about 14,000 miles drinking Mickey's Big Mouth bottled beer <laughs> every day. Unfortunately, I met my ex-wife that year. <laughs> so that, that put a little damper on Well, things. you kept the car, but not the wife. I got you the did car. it backwards. <laughs> I kept the wife and not the car. You but, kept the car and not the wife. I don't know. So in the last 20 some years, I only put on another 10,000 miles. So it's pretty pristine, you know what I mean? Now it barely comes out of the garage. Yeah. It's, it's a garage ornament is what we call it now. I like it looking at them. Does. And then it don't start because the battery's been sitting in there for years. That's okay. Yeah, he might, he might okay. spring for another one, but he's tight. 100, <laughs> 150 bucks for a battery. Did he only going to start it maybe two times in the next 10 years? Yeah. yeah I don't know if he'll go for that battery. I he uses know. my battery jumper box. It's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, you're gonna have to buy me a new battery box soon. You're gonna wear that up. Cheaper to buy the battery, probably. <laughs> and it's a stick. The automatics aren't worth nothing. You gotta have the stick. Yeah, so but this what? was you bought it brand new in '93. Brand new in '93. Yeah. Here I am. Just Spun good luck. Just times. good luck, man. That's all original paint on it too. You never hit yeah, it. Yeah, everything's original on it. It's know. amazing. Paint a lot of good times on, on that one, though. A lot of the stuff is rated X, so um, we can't go there. I gotta this keep is, this cheap. We're, we're family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we want to hear from all you people driving the stick shift cars, because that's where it's at. Yeah, because these young guys, I, they only can drive automatics. Now that's why they're making all the new ones automatics. Yeah. The young kids can't even drive a stick. Is that what it is? Yeah, they still think the stick is off the trees. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know, but that, that's the way. Let's hear from all you ladies who love driving those kind of cars. I want to hear from you. Picture your ride. How's that? Yeah, there you go. Send it a caption to the, the bone. <laughs> <laughs> and I will answer you, I promise. <laughs> you guys yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy good. everything. That was good. That was good. That was awesome.